Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time. I do want to say that I was packing orders and shipping them, and I looked at my tarot deck and I shuffled real quick, and the Eight of Wands popped out. And as soon as I saw that, I said, okay, we have a <laughs> we have a message here that needs to be shared. So then I shuffled a little further. We got the King of Cups, um, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress energy, and I knew that there was a message here that was meant for someone. So I don't always shuffle like this. I usually shuffle for the collective for Bahati Love Notes, but clearly there's a something that here that spirit wishes to share so I did already bless the deck I do want to say that my intuition was kind of feeling that someone made a mistake and had to this is specifically masculine energy um but I felt like masculine energy made a mistake and in not immediately but it was like an aha moment where they had to kind of do life without someone or do life without a person in order to see what they were, how they were wrong in a situation. And I also feel as I'm talking to you guys now, I'm getting this energy about someone needing to like retrace their steps and go back to square one in order to figure out what they can do in order to do differently now moving forward because I feel like they don't fully understand as I'm saying this I don't get this sense of completion I just get this sense that spirit has like their angels and their guides are leading them back into the place that they left a relationship that they left or a situation shit that they left it also feels like it was a heated a heated moment it also feels like this person didn't like conflict even which is interesting because they're someone who is very masculine like I don't know if they're Aries ruled or Mars ruled in their charts whether it be their their moon their Mars their Sun or their ascendant it's interesting that this person didn't want conflict with you but they ran away from the situation and never dealt with it this feels not like something of the past. I, I'm, as I'm talking to you guys and I'm channeling, I'm asking questions in my head. If there's something that's longer than a year, this feels like this ship has sailed in that situation or this is not your reading. This is something that has happened relatively recent. Or it's something that feels like it was very, very recent. This person would not be in a relationship now. They would be, they, if they, if they were connecting with anyone outside of this relationship, it would have been, or outside of your relationship, it would have been little flings, things that didn't make this person feel good. The word that I just heard is grimy. That's a very specific word. They just don't feel, they wouldn't feel good about the situation. And they just kept finding new new things new situations and each one of them kind of led to a feeling of emptiness and like i'm hearing like their energy was zapped specifically that word zapped that they just felt um i'm hearing that they didn't want to bend and fold to the things that you were asking of them or what this relationship required for some of you guys this connection actually goes so deep that you have children with this person and there's a, a repetitive energy in this person's history where masculine energy walks out. This is why this, this is just one of those faded karmic moments where a person has the right to choose how they're going to inevitably show up or are they going to repeat past mistakes or past decisions that have already happened before in the past. Not in this, well, not in this life, but well, like their ancestors or the, 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 um, how masculine energy shows up because it would have been masculine energy walking out. So that's a lot to channel, but I just was feeling like a bubbling of 
this. So I'm gonna go a little deeper and see what's going on. Yeah, see, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. That's the other thing too. I kept seeing a lot of conflict around this person, which is so funny because it feels like this is negative. I don't know if this is the workplace or egos or they're fighting with their friends. Sometimes there's one thing like to, you know, when you watch, if this is a very specific man reading. I'd be surprised if this is a woman, but um, sometimes, you know, when you hear people like going back and forth and they're fighting, you're not, you're surprised when you hear that they actually took something to heart and they're offended by something. Something happened within this person. Their eye-opening moment came when they were offended by something someone said. And I think that it hit true. I don't I don't know why Spirit's referring to that. So maybe it has something to do with you guys' relationship. Or the fact that they're walking away. Yeah, see? I'm talking about, look. Five of Swords reverse and the Ten of Swords. So this is, again, referring to very negative energy, which it feels like this they're not totally disconnecting from the friend source or the per the energy that was toxic or like poking at them it feels like that that whoever it was said something to trigger an awakening within this person that it it just hit too close to home and then they had a realization a realization that in that moment instantly i i messed up they might have even said the word i effed up this is why this person is coming back around the corner now is what is that I'm hearing. Yep. Two of swords. Sorry guys, I the, the setup of my camera is a little wonkadocious right now because I wasn't planning on doing a reading tonight. Yep, seven of swords, ten of wands, knight of swords, two of cups. So the, already this is confirming exactly what it is that I, I was saying. There's something about the Seven of Swords, which is someone walking away from conflict. It doesn't necessarily need to be a, like, okay, sorry, because I'm getting a lot. It's like someone who knows the expectations of a relationship. Well, it's, okay, sorry guys, I'm like stumbling right now. It's because I'm channeling. It's not that they didn't, when I say it's like, that is, that is the fact. They knew the expectation of this relationship. They knew what was expected of them. They knew what is being asked of them is like, I don't want to say bare minimum, but essentially could be that bad. Where is bare minimum? And this person was actively making excuses. I also feel that this person had an issue or has an issue with growing up. Sorry, my chick, I have two chicks and um, one of them can hear my voice and when they hear my voice, they get upset. <laughs> so he's calling out for me. So this person was escaping their responsibility. Worst case scenario, there's someone here that's dealing with a, an absent father, like an absent father figure, meaning that this should have been like this person is skirting their responsibilities from fatherhood and someone made a comment about that. And that's what's bringing them back. And I just want to say that it's, a, it's kind of a shame that it had to happen this way, but it's good that it finally did because, and that's also spirit says, um, there's this recognition of like how the divine is always looking out for us. And even if the situation feels dire and like hopeless, it's never totally in vain. The divine will always, or your angels and your guides or whoever it is that you've cried about, especially if you feel abandoned, there's this emphasis on this feeling of being abandoned by the divine, of being abandoned by your angels and your guides or your ancestors. Or if, if you look at your ancestors, you almost feel like you're repeating a pattern. And we, it's like saying like, we can never break free of this. This is always, this is just our punishment. And the, and whoever it is that you are praying to or asking for help with in this situation 
has is is showing compassion in the situation to help turn it around. And it was a, a joke that went too far. A comment that someone said in passing. Yeah, guys, look. Yep, we have a fresh start here. The Fool card. I don't know if you can see this because my camera is a little blurry right now. But the Fool card, we have Ace of Pentacles as well. We also have Five of Pentacles. So this is some, it's interesting too that we have Five of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles because this is the space that was lacking where there is like an absence and now all of a sudden they're coming back and wanting to offer and then they want to, it's so interesting. There's gotta be, this isn't gonna be fit for everyone. There's, there's an emphasis on baby daddy type of energy here. So this could actually be child support coming through uh, after a long fight, a long battle. This person finally stops fighting because they are starting to realize like I, you would think it's because they're, they're tired of fighting or something, but it's not. It's something someone said. It's like the pressure of society or the pressure of friendships or, yeah, Ace of Cups. They had like a change of heart, big time a change of heart by just hearing what someone said and like really, and now all of a sudden they're wanting to contribute and say, okay, you know, this is what I'm supposed to give. They might even fingers. Yep. Guys, look, temperance is on the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see that. This is someone who's willing now to work through things. If this is not a child support type of situation or something, someone coming back home, especially if there's kids involved. This is someone that I want to say that you're quote unquote meant to be with, but the journey with this person has not been easy and effortless. And even though you're meant to be with this person, it won't be the easiest transition now moving forward because this person is fighting their own demons when it comes to doing the right thing and even maturing and growing up and what that means for them. For some, for some of you guys, they find you'll this person finds themselves in trouble a lot. I'm even hearing that for someone they might specifically have like a DUI or they're just so close to getting a DUI. This is a very specific message. No wonder why I like stopped packing orders to this person is coming around, but it's not gonna be an easy. So spirit wants to talk about a breakthrough here. I don't see any cards sign signifying this. It's just in my spirit to tell you this. There's a breakthrough. It just might not be exactly everything that is that you expect it to be. So let's say you're praying for the reconciliation of the family or for child support to come forward or for this person to come back and realize what they've done, how they've hurt you and how much they owe you or the, how they treated you as wrong, disrespectful, etc., etc. It's like you're it's like putting picking someone up who fell but not ex it also knowing that they're going they there's a really high chance that they're going to fall again and not expecting them to ever move past falling. So this is why I generally feel like another reason here divine is very protective of you or this ancestor is very protective of you or this angel and this guide is very protective of you and is giving this situation a fresh start, but giving you a fresh start. And Spirit is saying ample room for you to take this help, but not expect anything more than that because this person feels like they're almost set up for failure, that they can't necessarily move past. They just don't have the capacity. There's something about them that always kind of reverts back to mediocrity. I don't know. Like they just, they go back to being mediocre to some extent. This is someone who kind of takes shortcuts when it comes to their work or like splitting chores or balancing things. They just do not have a heart that is generous. They're selfish in nature. Having said that, I generally feel like there's something this person coming back, if you're not meant to 
rebuild with them entirely if this is definitely not if this is a baby's father type situation I feel like there's someone here that's genuinely getting a fresh start when it comes to relation yeah see ten of swords this energy is meant to be over and by it being over it's the conflict it's the tension it's the fighting it's the I'm asking for this and this person doesn't want to yeah there's some type of like peaceful truth truce here and that's going to be the blessing in this situation. That, that'll be the gift of the situation and what you can expect from this person. However, I do see a fresh start here. Let's look into the fresh, fresh start. For, for some of, someone here, there's this emphasis on travel, especially when it comes to Europe. I'm also hearing it's very tempting to kind of go back to an ex or go back to the original partner. But I don't see that as being the ultimate answer, the end all be all is what I'm hearing. Especially, I remember I, I pulled a 10 of pentacles. Yeah, you guys are, yeah, interesting. So this is the card that I was looking for when I was shuffling for the past connection. The Six of Pentacles, right? Remember we had the Five of Pentacles and then the Ace of Pentacles, but it just never came to culmination. Like it never came to completion. And then we had the Magician card here. So there is actually something here, someone here, or a situation here, but this definitely feels like a relationship that has everything that it takes, like has everything. They're also peaceful. You you wouldn't find yourself fighting in this connection. They they genuinely are fair. And I just heard the word honorable. Yeah, the Empress. So this is emphasizing you receiving everything that it is that you wish to gain, is what I'm just hearing. Like what, what you wish to gain, what you would ask for what you deserve. I also get a strong sense of independence here. Even though this is the Empress card, I feel the sense of independence. I also feel someone like ringing a doorbell or something or like showing up unannounced, which is so funny. This might actually be the past connection and this person just dropping by the house it might seem romantic, but it's something about it being disrespectful, like just completely unannounced, expecting you to just open the door or let them in. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. Let them in. They like invite themselves into certain things. Look at this. We have four of pentacles here and the judgment card. This is an acknowledgement to you seeing the fact that you should, I don't say should, but this is energy that you don't have to say yes to. Like you, you do have power in the situation. You can tell, say to yourself or just move in a way that reflects what, how you view yourself and how you feel about yourself. Hopefully putting yourself not on a pedestal, but putting yourself in a position where someone can't come in and trample on you or take from you. This is like someone who comes in and just automatically starts eating your food. They show up unannounced. They immediately go to the cabinet and just start looking because they feel like there's something in there that they are entitled to. They don't contribute or the way that they contribute is not how you asked. I, I, I keep hearing like a doorbell ringing, like someone just kind of like showing up and wanting to like, or not even like knocking or just call, showing up unannounced. I'm also feeling like for some of you guys, they just like take the car or you might be sharing a car, an automobile or something. They just feel entitled to it. This person, oh my God, what is, they might owe you money. <laughs> Unbelievable. So spirit is springing up all these things because they want you to kind of like check, like go down the list of like, this person like what this person 
they want you to like see it. So sometimes you know, but if you don't, it's like, if you don't see it on paper sometimes, or you know when you're telling your friend and they hear you co complaining about the relationship or hearing you kind of cry about this. Um, sorry guys, little chick is getting a little loud again. Um, and you forget, like you forget in the moment and then you're, you know, and you just start crying about them again and then your friend just goes down the roster. Remember he did this, remember he did this and this and this and this. These, this spirit is wanting you to really see how, okay, wow. I just heard spirit is wanting you to see how this person takes advantage of you like takes advantage of your kindness, your softness, what you hope for in this life or in this connection or what you hope for yourself, but you won't find it with them. And seeing it will help you to begin to accept this person's pattern and begin to migrate away from that, close the door, lock the door, have boundaries and just be like, no. For the, some of you guys, this is going to feel like the first time, even though this isn't the first time. And you'll know what I mean. Like it, it it's, you might've done it before, but this time you're serious. And I, I know that you might've set up for, but this time you mean it. Yeah. Four of swords. Four of swords. Yeah. They're not going to take, yeah, I was just about to say. We have four of pentacles here, page of swords. They're not going to take this very well. You know, they feel there's a sense of entitlement here. I don't feel like they're going to, well, the cards are showing four of pentacles. They're, they're really not going to let this situation go, which is problematic because it's not up to them. But again, that sense of entitlement. I want to tell you that there's someone else for you, but the divine is focusing right now on this current. Yeah. Yeah. So two of cups and five of cups. This feels really loaded because this shows that like we stay in, sometimes we stay in relationships that were, are half-assed or just don't fill us up. You know, maybe this person, maybe you could see into this person and you see like, you know, he's really trying or he has a good heart or, you know, whatever the quality is about this person. So we stay in this situationship even though it might be a relationship but it's just half energy it's half of what it could be and we choose it because we want to find our equal but the truth is is that you can't find an equal and someone who doesn't match your energy and someone who can't reciprocate and someone who is I don't want to say lackluster but just doesn't have it and it takes a lot of strength and courage, yeah, three of swords here, to say goodbye or to create distance or to open the door for something else to come through. And with the world card showing up here, it's signifying that there might be some healing that needs to happen, but that the sooner you get started on that, yeah, queen of pentacles, the sooner you start focusing on your needs and your desires and what you actually need you you'll find that you're not only will your resources start to fill up again and pour into you but your energy tank will start to fill up your you'll have different opportunities and, and things op that open up to you so you can start meeting new people but it all starts when you decide i'm not going to allow this person to hold me because it's that's really what it is it's them having a hold on you instead of you having a hold on the situation. It's like a, a woman who allows herself to be gripped by someone who doesn't deserve to even touch her. It's not that she doesn't know that she's powerful. It's just that she's allowing this person to hold on to her instead of her saying to this person, don't touch me. You don't get to touch me. Like you don't get to come in. This is not your... For someone here, 
yeah, five of wands is just going on for too long. It's like competition. It's just stress or tension. And if this is not actual representation of the connection, it's how you're feeling in this situation. Like you just feel an internal battle within yourself where you're just like, I just, I know that this isn't going to work out, but I just don't want the end to be here. It's like hoping, wishing for better. The truth is, is that for many of you guys, you would actually do better alone because it's one less mouth to feed because I generally don't feel like this person contributes a whole lot. So let's say it's financial, right? Let's say this person does financially contribute. There just feels like there's like a lack of love or a lack of compassion or respect or time. And whatever the excuse is, right? So you could say, well, he does this or this happens and there's that. Sure, but it'll always, look at this, guys. You have Eight of Cups here and Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups is the card of walking away and moving forward. And Eight of Wands is the action that you, it's actually one of the faster cards in the, in the deck, but when it's reversed, it's, it delays you. Yeah, so, and then you have the second fastest card almost pretty much, the Magician card, which is the card of now. And then the Eight of Wands. So this is about you being empowered. Like you can, you can end this cycle today. It feels like, um, it feels like, you know, a person who would just be, think, okay. I looked at this candle and it's pumpkin clove. Sorry about that guys. So I'm looking at this candle right now, right? And it says pumpkin clove, pumpkin, nutmeg and clove. So imagine you, it's Thanksgiving and you make a pumpkin pie for yourself or you make a pumpkin pie for the family. And you have this expectation of sharing this pumpkin pie with, and like divvying it up so that everyone can have a slice you're giving everyone a slice at the table and the family is so chaotic and so toxic that for whatever reason, they're fighting about all these different things. And even though the pie is there, you put all of the effort and the work into it. No one's really appreciating it. No one's enjoying it. No one's savoring it. And up all the energy that you put into it feels like it's not appreciated because the conflict and the tension in the room overshadows you know, what you, your intention for, for that time and how that pie was going to be appreciated, right? So this is kind of what this relationship energy is kind of looking like. It looks like it's not that what you offer isn't, isn't substantial or isn't of high value, especially if you're putting a lot of effort into it and time and experience, all these things are going into this pie is who you're delivering it to. Do they appreciate it? Do they savor it? And when it comes to the emphasis of conflict and tension that's been showing up in this person and in their life and in the, in the cards, you have to ask yourself, would you be better off in a quieter space where you're baking that pie for yourself you have your ice cream, you have your whipped cream and you have your moment, it's peaceful and you may not have the bliss and of what how you would want it to be where you're sharing it with your family and your friends but at least you don't have the conflict and the tension and sometimes, sometimes that might be better off. Sometimes that's the better outcome. So that's the reading for tonight. You guys, thank you so much for spending time with me once again again the gratitude that i have for this time that we have together just really is immense um also so sorry for the chicks chirping in the background they're still getting used to me not constantly going to them they're babies so when they hear my voice they they get a little rowdy but um i'm sure they'll outgrow it when they're teenagers so but for now they're little nuggets and they're doing the best that they can and i guess we all are so in the meantime, guys, I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.